Just a quick video today to show you how I make my single sliding knot bracelets. You can see one knot just slides along the other thread. It's really cute on a bracelet that has beads on it as well because the knot is really tiny and sort of fits in there well. It's also a good bracelet because you can pop it on and do it up yourself as well just by pulling on the little ties. So I'm just going to show you on a thread here. So it's sort of like a scaffold knot. We start by holding our threads here and it's the left one that's coming over the top there. And then I'm going to hold my left index finger to be alongside the underneath cord. Then we can bring this top cord around our left index finger two times and that's going to form two loops. Then we can just gently remove the two loops and we're going to just poke this tail piece down the two loops there. And then pull it nice and tight. You should have a nice little sliding knot there that slides along one strand. So I'll just show you again on this actual bracelet. We've got this left thread coming over the top and then I'm going to hold my left index finger there and wrap this thread around my finger two times to create the two loops. And then gently removing it off my finger so that I can poke this little thread down the loops that you made. And then just pull it nice and tight. just need to slide our beads over a little bit and then pull it nice and tight. So then on your tails you can tie a little knot. Just make sure on your tails that you've got enough length there that you can open your bracelet enough to fit onto your wrist. You could put a bead on these ends as well to have something to pull on. But you can see it opens and closes, so I'll just snip these off and then singe them with a lighter to make sure they don't fray. But this is a perfect one for paracord or any other sort of type of thread that you like too.